the extraordinary cat, a Chinese folk tale. Once there was a Chinese ruler who had a cat that he treasured above all other animals. He loved that cat so much that he thought it was so extraordinary that he named it Sky. One day, soon after, an advisor to the court spoke to the ruler and explained, There is something much more powerful than the sky, and that's a cloud. A cloud can darken up the sky, and you can't see the sky. Hmm, quite right, said the ruler. From this day forth, my beautiful cat will be known as Cloud. Two weeks later, the ruler's wife said, Dear husband, I don't think that cloud is a proper name for your cat. There's something stronger than clouds. And that's wind. It can blow the clouds away. Indeed, from now on, my cat will be called Wynn. Here, Wynn. Nice little Wynn, he would say to the cat. And during the next month, the ruler's brother came for a visit and agreed the cat was the most extraordinary cat he had ever seen. And he thought, you know, Wynn's not a suitable name for this extraordinary superior creature. The wind is a servant to that which is cannot be penetrated, such as a wall. The wall is stronger than the wind. Oh, I haven't thought of that, replied the ruler, and you are to be congratulated, the brother, for being so observant. And from now on, my dearest cat, the most wonderful cat of all on earth, will be called Wall, and he was called Wall. And the next day the royal gardener heard the ruler call the cat Wall. But sir, you're forgetting that a wall, that a mouse is able to chew a hole in a wall, and a mouse is stronger. A mouse is stronger than a wall? Yes. Well, how clever of you, said the ruler. From now on, my cat will be called Mouse. But just then, the ruler's boy and girl skipped into the garden to play. And when they heard their father call the cat Mouse, they started to laugh. What calls you to laugh, children? Father. Everyone knows that there is something stronger than a mouse and the cat who catches it. The ruler smiled and he realized that the children were the wisest of all his advisors. And then he began to laugh. Of course, how foolish I have been. From now on, my extraordinary animal will be called by the name he most deserves. And it is cat. And this is a story called The Extraordinary Cat. And it's a Chinese folktale. You can find it in many books and many stories.